in my day job um, as a personal trainer, one of the things that I deal with a lot, probably more than any other issue, is people that become stagnant with weight loss. Um, obviously, most people, most people come to me because they are looking to lose some degree of weight. Um, it's very rare that I get someone that's, that's very, very skinny, just wants to put on muscle, that, 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 that becomes a bit of an easier process. <laughs> um, so often, often it's, it's the weight loss um, side of things. And <clears throat> when it comes to that, <clears throat> one of the issues that I deal with a lot is that they will often lament that they can't lose weight, that they have some condition, they have an underactive thyroid, they have X, Y, and Z issue. And more often than not, what it turns out to be is that, no, you're like anybody else. You just have a difficult time losing weight. And the reason for it is weight loss in and of itself is very, very difficult. Um, to lose a pound a week, basically, you are basically having to drop about 500 calories a day. Um, that's a lot. That's definitely a lot to, <laughs> to, to someone who is not ever... Um, basically done that so someone who's someone built up years and years of bad habits to, to suddenly have to take in 500 calories less each day that's a challenge that is a challenge it's very doable it's certainly very doable but that is a challenge um, and when going over this what they'll often ask when they start to finally start losing you know lose weight is after the first couple of pounds are gone that that initial water weight that initial you know few weeks is the weight loss will either slow down or they'll start to rebound and start gaining weight back. And when I ask them why, it's almost universally this scenario. I was doing really well. I, I was losing a lot of weight. And uh, yeah, I decided I was going to go have you know some pizza on Friday night. You know, th th this weekend I said I take a break this weekend from my diet. Um, you know, I'm, I'm good Monday to Friday, but this weekend I took, took a break. I had some beers, um, went out, had some food, uh, what have you. And this is a conversation that I've had to go over multiple times with clients. And, and you'll see the point, you'll see the connection to writing here in a minute. If you are the person that is disciplined Monday to Friday and on weekends lives it up, and then with that, we'll assume that, you know, there's about 12 holidays a year. Right, like in America, I think I think we have like something like twelve national holidays a year. Um, if not, I, I imagine it's probably um, you know twelve days with holidays mixed in with birthdays and special events and all that stuff, where you're probably eating bad. So just weekends in in twelve, I guess regular holidays a year, you're looking at 116 days in the year that you are basically eating terrible. That you are that you are eating. Um, unhealthy foods, high caloric foods, um, that's a third of the year. That is basically a third of your year is spent eating unhealthy foods. And the weight loss process does not work well enough that you can be disciplined in the other two thirds and lose weight. Um, it's too difficult. Uh, you, you can't, it's difficult because it's a net, it's, it's, it's basically a zero sum game. So it's not just that when you, eat when you take days off when you take your cheat days when you take those days off that you're just not losing weight you're actually actively putting more weight back on you're working against yourself and so the the hundreds and potentially over a thousand calories are eating based in addition to your regular you know caloric intake on those days it's setting you back it sets you back to the point where you can't lose the weight on the other basically those other two-thirds just not you'd have to be almost doubling probably your discipline, um, almost cutting back even more of your calories, far more on, on those regular days. Um, it just doesn't work. Um, you, can't, you can't be good five days a week and, and be un, unbridled for two days and, and expect to lose weight. And that's often what happens. This is a very repeated cycle where that, that the scenario happens kind of just like that, and they get stagnant. They, they don't lose any weight. They'll be stagnant, or they'll put weight back on, and my clients will wonder what's going on, and I'll explain this to them multiple times, that, no, 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 you need to be disciplined basically seven days a week. Um, and if one meal, you know, in the month, you have a couple of meals basically in the month that are cheat meals, yeah, you can probably work around that, but full-on dates, it doesn't work. 
And so the point of this is when you go back to writing, when you look at writing and you look at the concept of writing every day, I had this whole discussion with, with, with uh, Ian Rogers there on my channel on Monday. If you're taking those weekends off and those holidays and you're getting to the point where a third of your year is not spent writing, that's a third of your time that you are not creating your projects, that you are actively not moving forward with your projects, that you are not um, getting your projects done. And in fact, even more than that, kind of like how when you eat um, a lot of bad food in your days off and, and you actually gain weight and work against yourself. The time spent away from the keyboard is thoughts and ideas about your story and the certain the certain mojo of writing. When you're when you're writing consistently, basically, there's a certain mojo that happens, there's a certain mood that happens. You're in a sort of uh, groove. Losing that groove is difficult to restart. It takes usually days to get that back, to get back into like the groove, to have your prose start to kind of sound the way they normally um, would sound when 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 you're creatively on fire. Um, and so I would encourage you to avoid that if possible. That, that, that's, again, kind of the hallmark of this channel, the Soda Write Every Day, is the idea that you don't want to lose those 116 days. You don't want to lose that third of your year, basically, to outside things. Um, it just becomes, again, very, 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 very difficult um, to maintain the progress. Um, now again, some authors can do it. I've talked before with, like I said, you, you listen to that whole, that whole discussion with Ian there. Um, he doesn't write every day. Most authors do not. But if you're trying to get started in this process, if you're, if you're trying to get back on track, um, if you're trying to get momentum underneath you, that's going to hinder you. The 116 days that you're missing is going to hinder your year. I, I promise you, you are going to end up um, I, I think in many situations, fighting far, 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 far harder to get these stories written if you are taking these times off. Um, and so, just I guess my my opinion on that um, it was just some, some it's an idea that's been sitting with me since I, since I had that conversation the other day. Um, something that I kind of wanted to say, but I didn't really get into. Uh, Ultimately, you got to find what works for you, and then and that, that's that's going to be the ultimate truth, regardless. Uh, but again, a third of the year not writing, a third of the year wasted—it's difficult in my mind to justify that. Um, and so, I, I do hope this this helps a little bit. If, if maybe if you need that motivation, that kind of kick in the pants to get started and to stay on track, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. The days you take off accumulate very quickly, very very quickly. A Monday to Friday writer. Um, yeah, that, that accumulates fast. Um, you gotta be doing a whole lot of extra work on, on the days you are writing to kind of make up for that. Um, and so with that, I'm going to sign off here. If you've got any comments, leave it down in the comment section and, and I'd be happy to read them.